In this lecture, we are going to use the annotations and mark our DTO, which is the product DTO, as well as the product WS interface with the JAX RS annotations. The product itself, we are going to mark it using JAX B annotation on the class at the class level at XML root element. We are going to tell containers like Apache CXF what the XML root element should be when this class is serialized into XML or later on JSON root element name is equal to product. This is not required, but just to make it more obvious, if you want to have a lowercase p in the XML that gets generated, you can use that as well. That is the only annotation we need here. These I'm leaving them as default. If you want to, you can use the XML element annotation and change the names that will appear in the XML to be different. So if I don't use any annotations here, the names in the XML will also be ID, name, description, and price. Now go to the product WS, which is the main interface, which we'll be marking with several JAX RS annotations. For add, you already know that we should be using a post method. So mark it with at post from JAX RS control space imported for update can you tell me the method uh, can you tell me the annotation and the http method that we should be using at you are right it's the put annotation control one so these annotations are analogous to the methods the http methods that we want to use or the methods that should be used to invoke these operations for delete it's simple delete from JAXRS. Finally, for find at get control one imported. Control shift F to format. Now comes the URI mapping. All the nouns will be helpful. The only noun we have, it's a very simple restful web service. So product is the noun here. So for adding products at path, use the path annotation within brackets double quotes slash products that's it copy that path annotation for update as well it's the same for delete along with the products we also need to pass in the id that will go in the brackets id copy that get also has the similar URI path. For the given ID, we need to get a product. Now that we have used these parameters, path parameters, we need to bind those path parameters to the appropriate variables using at path param annotation and within brackets ID id is the name which we have used here same for find as well so these are all the main annotations from the jax rs api and finally we shouldn't forget the content type we want to support or produce from this restful resource so use the at produces annotation within brackets we use flower brackets as well because we want to support multiple types application slash xml within double quotes comma the other data type we want to support is application slash json and then close the flower bracket right after that and that ends. To summarize, in this lecture, you have marked the product DTO with the JAX B annotation so that it can be serialized and deserialized into XML, JSON, etc. And then the product WS interface with the HTTP uh, method annotations in the JAX RS API for each method. And then you have used the path to map the URI path mapping. And finally, you have also bound the parameters in the path to the variables or the parameters of the method and then the 
use it the producer's annotation to mark what kind of data this resource restful resource is going to support 